Ho, ho, ho. Hi, boys and girls. Vengan, vengan. Les voy a contar una historia de Navidad. It's time for a Christmas tale. How the bubble ruined Christmas. It was the day before Christmas right here in LA. The people delighted, each in their own way. Faces were smiling stop, and Stop, stop, stop it. Oh. This is ter- Andres, they're never gonna understand you. You're, oh. you're too fancy, B. Scoot okay. over, scoot over. Okay. Move, fine, move. It was the day before Christmas, right here in LA. The people delighted, each in their own way. Faces were smiling, and joy filled the air, excited for gifts that they ordered this year. The people in town were filled with glee, all except one. Who could it be? In the hills of Hollywood, tucked just behind the sign, stood a mountain of boogers, a stockpile of slime. A top booger mountain overlooking LA lived a mean yellow creature in his gross booger cave. Grumpy and cranky from gaming all night, he peered down on the city. He hated the sight. He was so sick of Christmas, so tired of it. For 49 years, he dealt with this shit. The festivities, the songs, they're all just so lame. It's that jerk Santo. He was to blame. He must ruin Christmas, he thought to himself. He must ruin Christmas. But how, Bobo? How? He then had an idea so vile and so mean. He'd give this crap town something special indeed. Quickly he jumped in his ramshackled van. He raced down to the city with a horrible plan. At every house, pad, and condo, on each and every floor, the Bobo White Boogers on gifts at their doors. When the town folks checked on their presents that night, they were greeted with the disgustingly horrible sight. Quickly they opened their Santa Claus app to leave their reviews. Crap, 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 crap. Back on the north side at the Christmas workshop, Santo's business was booming and growing nonstop. His orders were filled and delivered on time. Suck on it, Bezos. This holiday's mine. With peace of mind, without disconcert, suddenly his phone rang out. Red alert, red alert. Christmas spirit was plummeting as fast as it could. Someone in Hollywood was up to no good. Santo was enraged. How could this happen? Quickly he dispatched his red elf assassin. Rudolph the Red Blade boarded a plane. She flew to Los Angeles to investigate. Down Hollywood Boulevard and all over town, disgusting green boogers were left all around. Rudolph the Ninja leapt through the streets, searching for traces of the boogery fiend. She found where he lurked, yet he was not there. In the distance she could see the Bobo's green lair. Of course, Booger Mountain, overlooking LA, where the mean Bobo lives in his gross booger cave. Rudolph the Ninja snuck in with stealth, where Bobo was playing video games all by himself. She snuck and she slunk and she crept up behind, placed her blade to his throat, grabbed her phone and she dialed. FaceTime connected, and Santo saw clear. The Bobo was done for. His life will end here. Wait! Wait. Santo cried out to stop Rudy's blade. He knew something was wrong. Just look at Bobo's face. With tears in Bobo's eyes, Santo could see. He wasn't mean at all. He was sad and lonely. Santo's temper and rage was calmed and subdued. It was a miraculous huh? thing. His tender heart grew. Release him, said Santo. This Bobo's just sad. Instead, we'll give him the best Christmas he's ever had. The Bobo replied, if I could have just one wish, I've always wanted a friend to play my games with. So upon Christmas morning, to Bobo's delight, Santo stopped by the Booger Cave for a video game fight. The Bobo was happy, but Santo was a noob. Gaming was not something Santo could do. Round one. Fight! You win! Perfect! 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 And round perfect. after round, it was much of the same. Santo got his ass whooped! Game after game! Santo had had enough. 
his perfect, temper perfect, irate. Perfect. This brutal <laughs> assault he could no longer take. That's it, you scumbag, Santo screamed out. The Bobo just laughed with a hollering shout. Santo's heart shrank down to its regular size. With a snap of his fingers, the Bobo met his demise. Rudolph's red blade slashed down with such might. Merry Christmas, you bastards, and to all a bad night. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Oh, you two are something. We're bad friends. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, Bob. Bobby must move for a mistrial now. That trial was an abomination and proved everything wrong with the judicial process in this country. Bobby must move for a mistrial and demand a proper trial. Trial. The main witness in the case is a presiding judge? Here, the judge happens to be a material witness and cannot testify unless she recuses herself as a presiding judge over this matter. If not, Bobo's motion for a mistrial is deemed granted and new trial must be conducted. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for a week I've been thinking about this. You've been thinking about how the case? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I already lost and I paid. I'm sorry. Ho, ho, ho. I'm sorry. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. But I, I want to say this before we even start. No, we already started because we got that I'm sorry on there. Oh, for, I'm sorry. But um, case in point, though, you know, I showed up here right on time. Mm-hmm. And I had to wait. You so, showed up. You should actually showed up five minutes early. Exactly, but it's now eight o two. Yeah, and we started two minutes ago when you started <laughs> reading that a long minute. thing. <laughs> a minute ago. No, we literally started when you started reading that. It's hit it. One minute. You know what I mean? Ho ho ho! <laughs> Don't hold me. Happy. Merry Mary. You know, Mary, everybody knows. Mary, Mary. Everybody. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mary. <laughs> I'm gonna, can, I, I, can, I, can I just say something about yeah. your outfit, though? Yeah, well, I'm Rudolph the Red-Nosed no, yeah, Reindeer. Yeah, the thing is, is that um, what I don't get about Rudolph, can I just ask, what, I don't know much about 100%, him. 100%, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Thank you so much. So um, <laughs> um, so Rudolph was being teased. Right? He was teased and bullied about having, a red having nose. this red nose. Right. right. And so at nights, probably Rudolph went to sleep crying a lot. Yeah. Right? He probably couldn't sleep well because every time he'd close his eyes, the bright shine of the nose probably woke him up. Right. Right, imagine that. Yeah, you're trying to go to sleep, and then all of a sudden you just see this red glow in your face. All right, terrible. That's yeah. That's right? how it is in my house. And my and wife then sleeps. He would wake up, and all the other fucking reindeer would be like, "You fucking freak!" Yeah. Look at your nose, you freak. Yeah. And they probably fucking you know, do what like dogs do with a fucking uh, you know, and they piss like this Psst. on his fucking face. Yep. And then one day it's really snowy out. Mm-hmm. Right? There's a blizzard or some shit. Santa Santa is, uh, he's like scared. <laughs> yeah. He's like, how am I going to navigate? And then he realizes the freak. Yeah. His, right? Yeah. Goes, hey, Rudolph the freak, you're, you're head. Uh huh. And Rudolph's like, why? Right? Right. Because if your freak knows. Right. Right? And Rudolph goes, okay. And he does it. And then all of a sudden, everyone likes him and he's cool. Yeah. That's fucking a bullshit story. What they don't tell you is what the next day, they still went back to beating the shit out of him. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> they what, bullied him again. That's what I always think that they yeah. bullied him afterwards. Of course they did. Yeah. Yeah. He got his little moment in the sun. Yeah. But then after that, it was like that's it. Let's beat the shit out of him because I don't know if you know, but um, Donner and Vixen uh, before they were in a gang. It sounds like it. Yeah, Donner and Vixen were in a gang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were Crips. They probably had tattoos on their bellies. They were Crips. Little, soft little... Little, little underbellies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little reindeer, reindeer underbellies? Reindeer underbellies. Yeah, they were Crips, and they hated that he was a blood. Uh, Re- Rudolph was a blood. Do you know he was a blood from South... <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, why he was a red nose. He was a blood. What is... <laughs> what a freak. What's the only... What's what's your least favorite of all of these songs or limericks well, or whatever? Well, here's... I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, tell you. Tell you. Tell you. And I was just in Hawaii, and I was at an ABC store. You know what an ABC store is? Yes, I do. They're like their 7 Eleven. Same thing. But much yeah. better. Yeah. They're, well, they're cleaner. They're a little bit higher end than our 7 Eleven. I think it's more like, um, oh, what would we call it? It's like between CVS and. and. It's like an upgraded. You know how they started upgrading Starbucks? Yeah, it's like That's that. It's kind of like it's that. It's like a high end. Yeah, high end 7 Eleven. You know, yeah, it's a 9 Eleven. So I was there at 7 at Eleven mm-hmm. or their uh, ABC store. Yeah. And this is like in the beginning of December. Yeah. And they start playing mu- Christmas music, which is always bizarre in Hawaii. Yeah, but right? feel, well, it feels like here too. When you hear it here, you're like, it doesn't and then belong. They start, then they start singing this song. Get it? Yeah. 
Frosty, the, the snowman. snowman. Right? And immediately in my head, Frosty hates Hawaii. He can't stand it. He would die instantly. Instantaneously. He'd get off the plane. It would be a puddle. It would be Frosty the puddle. Just his nose and his eyes. He would be just be dead. He yeah. hates Hawaii. Who likes Hawaii that's in the... But no None of them. None of them. Yeah. Santa Claus hates Hawaii. Do you think he He's passes gonna over? He's half the Pacific Ocean uh-huh. for 30 kids. How many kids? <laughs> How many kids are in Hawaii? Yeah. 40 tops? Maybe. Right. Imagine, imagine Santa Claus, right? He thinks it's his last house in Cleveland. Right. Right? All right. He's, I'm all almost right. done. Five in the morning, right? He just drops it off, and an elf calls him. Yeah. Bass. Bass. <laughs> and Santa's is like, yeah, yeah, what? I'm almost done. Hawaii. Oh, fuck! You know what I mean? <laughs> He's got to get in it. He probably doesn't have the presents. Right. He has to, he has to look around. What are they, like coconuts? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> coffee. Here you go, kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh. He, he, Santa Claus hates Hawaii. Hates him. Yeah. Does it, does it like Southern California? No, he doesn't. Look, well, it's in the it's in the mainland. I guess, so it's but easier. It's simpler to get. It's easier it's to get. Easier to. Easier for him to do it. Do you think Santa judges the people? He goes, I don't really give better gifts because of this area. I don't like this area. Probably. Yeah, yeah that's right. Probably. Like he sees he sees what and he goes, I don't like. He goes. He looks. He goes. Albuquerque. Yeah. I don't know, Rudy. What's the best gift you ever got for Christmas? Um. I don't know. Shoes? Shoes? That's the best that you've gotten. I gave you shoes. No, 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 On it, this show, I gave you shoes. It's fucking bullshit what she's saying. <laughs> and the kind of fucking garbage yeah. that comes out of this ungrateful lady's fucking mouth. Well, hold on. I gave you shoes. Yeah. Show your I, shoes right now. Because I know what's going on. Lift your feet up to the camera. Because you have one of ours on that I got you. The sandals I got you. I'm wearing two different... <laughs> yeah, why? I, for- I didn't see... <laughs> what? What do you mean you didn't see? Because Tito Bobby was yelling at me to go. Because you were late down. again. Were you late again? No, because dude, I'm is late this because where... of her? Yeah, no, I'm saying right, she so was I... late. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like that's the truth. I, that really is the truth. No, genuinely. <laughs> so I'm yelling at her, right? Yeah. Let's go. I don't want another trial. I say. <laughs> right. You don't want another trial. Right? Yeah. And she's like, but I'm sleeping or whatever she's doing, right? <laughs> And she waddle, 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 waddle. And she's not wearing the right shoes, or her eye is the sleep in her eyes. I mean, it's it's a fucking you know. But what you said there, shoes is the best thing you've gotten. That's the best thing. Didn't I? Didn't I give you a fucking iPad? You got an iPad? Oh, but you didn't give that. It was like a game, and then I picked the iPad. But I bought the iPad, right? <laughs> yeah. And you picked it out of the fucking thing, right? So yeah. so so he gave you an iPad. Yeah. So that's. Wait. No, 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 no. So shoes <laughs> are better than an iPad. No, yeah. I forgot about the iPad. Did I ever? Let me ask you. Let me ask you this, you fucking little one. Did I ever buy you a computer? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You got an iPad and a computer, which also is a computer. Yeah, yeah but I bought them both. So I, I bought you a computer, no? Yeah. What kind? A couple of thousand dollar computer. A um, MacBook Pro. Wow. Oh, yeah. Do you know anybody else your but age that has a MacBook she likes. Pro? You know, I didn't get a MacBook Pro until I was in my 30s. Yeah. She has no idea. Is it an what? iPad Pro? No, it's a mini iPad. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, so I got a mini iPad, and I also got a um, um, uh, a computer. Did, it, did I get it for you for Christmas or your birthday? The computer? Yeah. No, it was the first time I got here. And, it, and then you gave it to me because I was taking care of Julio. Yeah, so basically, I gave you a fucking computer... <laughs> Just for funsies. For funsies. <laughs> you know? You got a funsies computer. Yeah. And, yeah. and yet, okay, I get it. Wow. Yeah, and you're ungrateful. So, and so I said, what's your be- fa- favorite gift? And you said, shoes. shoes. <laughs> right. It says a lot. It says so much, dude. It breaks my heart. What's your favorite gift that you've ever gotten? Oh, I've gotten some good ones. Um, or what's your favorite? They're not that, really that funny, but you know. What, what have you given that, that you love? I, I, I give what... I don't give what they desire. I give what the most expensive thing is. <laughs> like, what do you give your mom? Like, I got my mom a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I got her house. You bought her house in Arizona. Yeah, her house is, yeah. It's your house. Yeah, I paid the mortgage. Well, and when she. I go, Merry Christmas. Here's the mortgage. Well, when she dies, it's your house again. Yeah. So you have two houses. I actually have more. How many houses do you have, Bob? I own an ap- apartment complex, too. Where? In Marina Del Rey area. Do you really? 
Yeah, but I don't want to talk about it. We're talking about it. What happened to your under your right eye? There's a cut. Oh. What is that from? Let's talk about it. It's a sad story. Well, I'd love to hear it. It's not exciting. It's not podcast fodder. Hey, make it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a tarantula. A tarantula? <laughs> yeah. It, we Tried have, to have sex with have your eye. We have a tarantula eye. farm Whoa. underneath the house. It's not ours. It was there before ours. <laughs> and we didn't know. Oh, yeah, really? We didn't know there was a tarantula farm downstairs underneath the house, I mean. What it re- what really happened? Okay, so um, you know that we are fostering animals? Yes. A puppy? Yeah. Her name was Sora. And when Sora sees me, she gets so excited. that What does she do when she sees me? She pees. She pees. Coddling. Yes. She loves it. Yeah. 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 She doesn't pee really when she sees the other ones. Only me. Yeah. Which means I'm a beast master. I pee sometimes when I see you. I know you do. I get excited. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I get excited. I go, Bobo's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I went in. She, you know, Sora stays in Juliana's room. And um, I would come to, I visit every once in a while. Yeah. And I came in. And she went wild. And I laid down on my back. And she did that to my face. Oh, she clawed at you? She bit it. Oh, she that was her mouth? She was biting and then one of her teeth scraped it like that. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and it was bleeding pretty bad, but I forgave her. What do you do? To, do you discipline or no? Yeah, I just gave her one right back. So yeah, you bite her back. Sora, no, there's a star, <laughs> scar right on Sora's face like this. You bite them back. I didn't know with a nail. I just went <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, it's, so it's precise. But today, um, we did something very sad. We gave Sora a home. So this oh, is, no. we went to a house and there was a white couple. Apparently, yep. one of them works at Netflix. And they're, um, oh, oh, shit. Are you okay? What was that? I don't know. Something came up. <laughs> Wait, so the white white folks and they took so the they dog? So they were on the lawn. We showed up. Hey, Bob. Waving, you know what I mean? To make it seem like they, they weren't serial killers. Did they know who you were? I don't think so. And um, we, gave it to, so we gave it the dog. Aww. And then Rudy cried. She started crying. Rude. It hurt, huh? Yeah. What did you say? Did you say goodbye? Yeah, I gave her kisses. Oh. What did you say to her? Did you say something? Did you say I love you forever and always and we'll be reunited one day? No, I just said bye, Sora, and I love you. Oh. It's cute, but it's a little, that's a little, that's it, huh? Yeah. Goodbye, I love but you. I was telling her, I go, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, because giving away the dog is tough. Yeah, I don't want, look at her. She's emotional now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rude. I don't want to do this anymore because because oh. it's you know it's not only I I think because because Kalila's like we're we're helping a a dog you know what I mean you know taking you know in trouble you're doing the right we're thing doing the right thing yeah but I what I think it does though is yeah we're doing the right thing but I think there's some scarring when it comes to the dog I think the dog goes hey I love this house yeah I love these Asians yeah you know I mean they're feeding me nice clothing <laughs> and the, and the, we're they're with me 20 f- they're feeding you nice clothing <laughs> no, food I mean <laughs> <laughs> I just I just woke up from a nap I know so I'm a little, I'm so, not fully there it's okay oh yeah sorry. so so what yeah, yeah and you think it you think it's hurting the dog that's interesting it might and I think the dog kind of just walks around going oh I'm in this new house but Where's mom? Where's mom and dad? Yeah. Where's mom and dad and the little yeah, one? The little one, yeah. And um, Rudy, I'm sorry that. And I just that. think that it's, it's uh, yeah, she's not, and it's just, this is scarring for all of us. Well, here, let me put it like this: I think maybe it does something better for the humans than it does for the dog. The dog might be confused for a little while and they get its bearings again, but like for Rudy, I think it's a good thing because then it teaches you lessons of life, right? What lessons? That things are going to come and go in your life. Nothing lasts forever. That's going to happen with relationships, both friendships, you know? Yeah, but usually when that happens, it's like either, um, like relationships, usually when those end, you're glad. No, 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 no. Sometimes you just, as you've gotten older, something she will learn, your friendship circle sort of changes, right? And over the years, like, people come and they go, and you don't see people as much. And Yeah, but death is the only thing that's, I think, equivalent to what we went through. No, because you <laughs> could still go take her back. Steal it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you just go steal it back? Yeah, yeah. If you really missed it, I would steal it back. Yeah. By the way, that'd be a great heist movie. Going back to get the dog that you gave away for adoption. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's a fun movie. That would be really fun. Yeah. To watch Rudy sneak back in and steal it. You know where they live. Let's go get it. Yeah, but the dog would have to be in peril. 
You mean you'd have to be sad and gross what they're going through? Yeah, like they have to be in like in a well, like in a Buffalo, like Buffalo Bill's dog. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just on top of a, you know what I mean? Well, barking at a f- scared <laughs> fat lady. <laughs> Remember the f- scared fat lady that's under, you know, yeah. in, in the well? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then she tricked her with the bone. So sad. That was a good trick, though. It was a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> when she was doing that, I was like in the theater going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. What is it? Weird? It was weird because you were rooting for her to hurt that dog. In the movie, but the dog didn't do shit. For some reason, you were like wanted it. I don't know why I wanted it to happen. Yeah, yeah, because I love dogs. But in that specific, it's like because it was Buffalo Bill's dog. Right. In, in Silence of the Lambs, that you wanted it to get hurt. But the dog didn't do anything wrong. I know. He was just being playful. Like, hey, fat white lady. Hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just being joyful. Yeah. But she's like, no, I'm going to take this, you know, pail or whatever. Stick a fucking chicken bone to it. And then she did it. Jerk it down. And yeah, it that's... broke its leg, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. And you're like, yeah, that little fuck that dog, but that dog didn't do shit. That dog didn't do nothing. Yeah. I think you can't do adoption anymore. I think that's going to hurt Rudy gonna too hurt much. Rudy. She's already scarred. It hurts me. I just don't cry. You don't know how to cry at all? I I, the, I had to go, you know, I, you know, I told you that when my dad died, I didn't cry. Yeah. But yeah, that, so the, I had to yeah. cry. when I had to go to a, a therapy. Like, I had to go to Arizona t- to an institution. I remember. For me to cry. Yeah. So it's like, I don't really, I cry like that Disney movie. What was that Disney movie about the dog? Mulan. The dog? <laughs> um, it way, had Willem Dafoe in it. Uh, the Way Home or whatever? What was that called? Well, the it's dog's like, name was Norbit or something? Like or? Taro. Or... Taro? Taro. 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 Is it Taro? I think. Taro is a fruit. Yeah, it's, it's... delicious. <laughs> Wait, was that the movie? That was the dog movie, Taro. Yeah. Yeah, I cried hard. Really? In that, yeah. And there was a couple of instances in uh, Queen's Gambit where I kind of teared up a little bit. It got me a little emotional. Togo. 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 Togo was good. By the way, one of my college buddies used to sell weed out of um, the drive thru window at Togo's. The sandwich? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that reminded me. Yeah. Uh, I cried so hard, and I'll do it every single time at the first vignette of Up. You know, the vignette before Up? Oh, dude, that I can't even watch that vignette. Balling. It makes me so emotional. Balling. Yeah. They should end the movie there. Yeah, that was the best part. Yeah, yeah. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Because whatever happens after that, right, He might, his life might get a little, that little fat gook. Was that little fat gook? <laughs> yeah. Was a fat gook? A little think, fat chubby fucking They don't ever China, say China w- fat? what it was, the kid. He was a little fat China fat. Let's all... <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was. Little f- and he was like yeah. constantly in the Boy Scout. He was a he was a, a boy scout. he was a boy scout yes, right was fat, which, there are no fat Chinese Chinese fat China fats you saying there's no <laughs> fat Chinese people in the in the Boy Scouts no there's got to be I've never seen any fat China China in a fucking <laughs> hey guys to keep on this uh, shut holiday the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> shut up we're in a flow you fuck. we're in a fucking flow Why, because dude because you got good reviews last I beat fucking the episode shit out of you, man. we love fucking uh, Andreas last did he get episode. good reviews people were like I saw some tweets like saying oh he was really funny he oh, said yeah. this one line so now he's trying to interrupt upstart Up there is a lot of economic chatter right now about the state of the market. Is it recovering? Mm. How long will it take, they say? Have we seen the worst? But if you're struggling to pay off high interest credit card debt, you can't wait for those answers. You need to take action now. With Upstart, there's actually something you can do today to fight off high interest credit card debt. Debt. Upstart is a revolutionary online lending platform that lets you know you're more than just a credit score. Look, Upstart uh, can reward you based on your job history in the form of a smarter rate. They let you skip going to the bank. Uh, it's completely online. They offer loans from 1000 to $50,000. You can consolidate your debt into one easy fixed rate payment. They make it fast and easy. Bob, how many people have used Upstart? How many? Oh, my God. 500,000, that's half a million. Half a million people, people have used know, Upstart. Pay off their credit cards, meet your financial goals. If you're struggling with credit cards, Get it done with Upstart. See why Upstart has over 6,000 five-star reviews on Trustpilot and hurry. Go to upstart.com slash... Bad friends! See why Upstart has over 6,000 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. Hurry. Go to upstart.com slash... Bad friends! To find out how low your Upstart rate can be. <laughs> Checking your rate only takes a few minutes. Upstart.com bad slash bad friends. Your loan amount will be determined based off your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Not all applicants will qualify for the full amount. It's upstart.com slash bad, bad friends. friends. Better help. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, Bob. Better help has really helped me out during this pandemic. Me too. I, I, I get therapy through Better Help. Um, it's a great service. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? 
Yeah. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. Did you know that, Andrew? I did. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help. It's professional counseling done securely. All joking aside, Bobo and I both use BetterHelp. We both very much love it, and we both promote it because we believe in mental health and mental health awareness. They also it's match important. you with the right counselors. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're not forcing you. You know, you can really find what you're what you're looking for on BetterHelp. And it is great, honestly, and it's uh, a lot easier than traditional uh, counseling because you can do it from the comfort of your own home right now. And it's a little bit more affordable than traditional counseling. Mm -hmm. They want you to start living your happier life today. You can see their testimonials at betterhelp.com slash reviews. Visit betterhelp.com slash bad friends. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Uh, so many people, they're hiring right now. So go to BetterHelp. You can find out more about that. Special offer for bad friends listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash bad friends. Special offer. That's 10% off your first month. At BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. Bad Friends. <laughs> Andres, what's up, Papa? Oh, I was just saying that uh, since you guys are in this holiday spirit, maybe it's time to do Secret Santa. Oh, Secret Santa. Yeah, I didn't bring a gift. What do you mean? What? For Secret Santa, I had to give, I put a... We all brought a gift for Secret Santa. What are you doing? We agreed to do Secret Santa. Didn't you bring a gift? No one told me about... George, you never told me about Secret Santa. I picked the names last week. What do you mean? We picked names live. live on the air. I have proof. What? Did you get one? Yeah. Yeah, what are you talking about? You. We just picked <laughs> the names. We just did it. <laughs> I never... I hope I'm not on Bobby's. I, I never got a gift. George, Thank you, Andres. this is for you. I forgot what even name I got. Andres, I got your gift. Oh, awesome. It's Come here. Under. This is for Andres. What? It's under here. Where is it? Let me see it. This is... This is yours. So you got a gift from me? I never saw you bring anything to the fucking car. No, but I um, delivered it to George's house so that you won't see it. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, are you lying? I'm not. No, we all got gifts. Why didn't you? Who? Who's yours? I don't even remember. Bobby, who's I, yours? I, I swear to God, I don't remember. Bobby, who's yours? I swear to God, I don't Well, I'm giving a gift to Andres. <laughs> yeah. And Rudy's got one for you. <laughs> yeah. And then George. Yeah. So who do you think yours is? Yours. And what did you get me? Merry Christmas. <laughs> you didn't get me a secret Santa I gift. I forgot. I just totally forgot. I totally forgot. I forgot. And then you get a gift? <laughs> yeah. Before I open it, what is it? Open it! No, tell me what it is. I know what it is. Tell me what it is. We I all... don't want to say yeah, it. Yeah, it. Tell me what it is. Chicken hot pies. Chicken pot pies? Chicken hot pie? <laughs> <laughs> Chicken pot pie. Oh, you got it from uh, um, Old Belly? Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, That's really nice. Cool. <laughs> you're so, you're so annoying. <laughs> George, make sure the... Uh, the yeah, are those frozen? Yeah. No. No. No, it's still frozen. frozen. It's cold. Frozen. All right, I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot about... I would, I, if I would have remembered, I would have got you something great. We pulled the names literally know, like somebody four has to days ago. Me. I don't know shit. I don't know what's going on. Who did you pull? I think it was you. You know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But I think it was you. George, you yeah. should have fucking reminded no, me. No, that's not his fault. We just pulled the no, name. George, George, you should remind me. I didn't know you had an Andrew. If you had me, it would have been fine. No, no, no but listen, no, come, here, come in here for a second. Just, I'm sorry. Just back up for a second. Hold on. Just take a word in here for a second. Hey, uh, Andres, wow. where's the video? Uh, let me send right, it to you. Your just stay right there. No, send it to my right. email. Okay, you know, all right, that I'm forgetful about things, uh, right? You know, you also knew, yeah, right? I, that I, I, I you, you also I'm knew. I know, but you also knew that I wouldn't forget. Well, there's a chance of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason why you didn't tell me because you wanted the drama, that you know, what I mean, of, of, of me sh I don't not. Know who you're guessing, who you have. It doesn't matter. You, you should just remind me. Whoever your person is, you should get the gift. You should remind me. No one else needed a reminder. I know. I don't know what. I don't know when my dude. Yeah. I just. Just yeah, because I know what Christmas is on the 25th. I know that, right? So my point is, is this, okay? <laughs> my, just... my point is, is this. No, I'm being real, okay? Okay. My point is, is this, okay? Um, I don't know. I 
forget about the little things that we do here. I was, first of all, I was so enraged by the trial. Did we do? Did we pull it before the trial? Just after. We right after, literally right but after. But I was the trial. still in my emotional distress over the trial, right? You were. Yeah, I've been. You were distressed emotionally about... distressed from the trial that we did on. Yeah. Here? So my point is, is that you knew I wouldn't show up here with a fucking gift. You knew that this would cause some sort of drama between me and Andrew, <laughs> and I, and I know that it's my fault. I'm sorry. It's my fault, and I'm sorry. Thanks. All right, but I gave you the four dollars. And you fucking flicked it, and that's fucking rude. You really? Four dollars? Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. This is a really nice gift. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, George. I really love it. Yeah. Ugh. I'm like heartbroken now. <laughs> it was so. Well, good. everyone show the their gift and show what they got. The, what did you get, Andres? The, <laughs> I got a bunch of film books. Really nice. What did you get, Rudy? I got a keychain and this. That's all. What is that? It's um, Inosuke from um, a favorite series I watch. Inosuke? Yeah. What does Inosuke mean? I don't know, but it's his name. Inosuke. It's a pig person? It's a pig person? No, uh, he wears a pig head. Like he chopped, he killed the pig and then he wears it. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what she's into. And then, George, what did you get? Um, I got my favorite Japanese notebooks, and I don't know what this is. It's probably a pen from the context, <laughs> but it's really hard to open. Are you going to love your pot pies? Yeah. <laughs> I love pot pies. It's really thoughtful. Thank you. It is thoughtful. Yeah. And I'm happy you thought of me. Why didn't you remind me? I thought you knew. Because you were buying gifts. <sighs> no, no, no. Okay. Were you online buying gifts? Yesterday, and so you didn't think about this, is, this just show. Just how crazy this is. Yeah. Yesterday, <laughs> right? I didn't even get Kalila anything. Who'd you buy gifts for? That's right. So yesterday, I wake up. I'm like, should I play? Let's just let let just th- let me talk this through. Okay. I wake up yeah. and I go, let me just uh, should I play Ground War on Warzone? I don't know what I'm gonna do today, you know? <laughs> that's just that's what just the thought of my I head, understand. Right? I'll just grab some coffee. I grab some coffee. Yeah. And then Kalila goes, what'd you get? So and so for this other thing that we have to do next week for the family. Sure. I go, what's next week? And she goes, it's Christmas. I go, it is? <laughs> That's what I, I go, it is? Yeah, so she you goes, forgot. It's December. I go, oh, fuck, it is. Right. And then I'm thinking, what did I didn't get Kalila nothing? Right? So then I'm thinking, I got to get this guy that's on the, you know, that, that I fucking drew. Right? I got to say, I don't want to say what it is. And then while I was doing that, I go, I might as well just buy a bunch of shit for Kalila right now. Right. So the guy, but the guy who you drew, the guy's name that you drew, do you remember drawing my name out of the thing for our <laughs> no, Because show? Kalila reminded me. I would have completely forgotten about but it. But you did, but you do remember the moment you drew his name. No, I don't. I don't even know. I go, who's my guy? You told me it was so and so. Do got... you remember the moment you drew my name out of our. I don't remember. Let's take a look. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, we'll do Secret Santa. Let's do this. Santa. Yeah. Well, here we're doing a se- we're doing Secret Santa this year. Huh. Bobby's first. Who'd you pull? Let's look look at Bobby's eyes. Don't tell anybody. Obviously. <laughs> Literally looks right at me twice, three times, four swallow, times, swallow five you know times. Put it in your mouth. You're I'm such a look at it. Look. Why? That's it. That's how you know it's good luck. Look at how many. Did you see how many times Bobby looks me in the face? Look at this. Let's watch it again. <laughs> right as Bobby pulls it. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we'll do Secret Santa. Let's do this. We'll do yeah. Secret Santa. Well, here, we're doing a se- we're doing Secret Santa this year. Right here, right now. I'm still Okay, look at Bobby's eyes. Ready? Okay. One. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Six. Swallow it. Swallow it. Don't you know that? Put You're it in your mouth. so funny. <laughs> Why? That's it. That's how you know it's good luck. No, in my culture, we put in we put it in Red Bull. Put it in Red Bull. The Red Bull. So Red Bull. here's oh, the deal. Yeah, I remember putting it in the Red Bull. You do. <laughs> so Bobby, we knew that you were never going to remember. Oh, thank you. So, so every name inside of the cup had my name on it. <laughs> so on purpose, we devised this plan. Are you being real? Yeah. Every <laughs> name. Every name inside so, of it. So- Let me finish. <laughs> Every name inside of there had Andrew written on it because we knew Bobby's never going to remember. In fact, George, I said to George, <laughs> I said to George, I said to George, George, yeah, yeah. What, if he, yeah. what if he remembers? And George goes, oh, oh, he won't remember. And sure enough, 
<laughs> you didn't remember. I didn't remember. So not only did none of us, those gifts were all arranged by George. Thank you, George. You did a great so job. And Andres, the, and Andres. You never got chicken pot No, pies. she didn't. No. Yeah. George got was, it. No, when you made up that you, you were shipped to George, did you make that up on the spot? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. That was a very good improv. She really did kill it. You did very well. That's how well me. we knew you weren't going to get me a gift. So we put George put your my name on everyone's paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It worked. It was really worked. We it knew was, it. It. Worked. it did work. Wow. And you made you you. I was feeling pretty bad. Yeah. And you should have seen what you were gonna get. <laughs> what was I gonna get? No, I because when I fuck up like that, uh -huh. I double down. Yeah. So you would have gotten something great. I don't need anything from you. Just your, Thank just you. your. That love. was really a good trick. <laughs> oh god, I was so scared. <laughs> so that's why George didn't remind me because it was that serious. George would have reminded. One hundred percent, he knew. Yeah. George yeah. knows better to remind you with real when real life happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Thank God. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. I want to show you one thing, by the way. There's a famous, um, of uh, uh, this guy Alex Tanello. This guy pointed this out to me. You know Run DMC's Christmas in Hollis, Queens? Do you know that song? Mm -mm. Christmas in Hollis, Queens? You, you never heard that song? Mm -mm. Well, we can't play it because we'll get sued. Mm. But I want to show you something. You are in this music video. I get what you're saying because it, there's a there's a sh little photo that says you've seen this Bobby Lee on a people. Yeah, I get it. I've been getting tweets about it for the last ten years. It's insane. I've never seen this. So, look at that. There's Bobby Lee. Just because my name shows up. But it said you were nice. That's you. Yeah. Bobby Lee, Hong Kong. Nice. Naughty or nice. Yeah. Bobby Lee, Hong Kong. Yeah, but nice. Yeah, but if I looked that cute, I would have been a comedian. That kid, obviously, by the He's way, cute. that kid, is, so, because that says Bobby Lee, Hong Kong. Yeah. Is that, does that kid look like he's from Hong Kong? He could be from Hong Kong, yeah. I don't know. Let's, see, let me see another frame of it real fast. He looks like a Hong Kong kid? I, who fucking, dude, listen you, to me. You, everybody knows what a Hong Kong kid looks like. No, no. When I'm on You a, just talked about him before. Jules. If you're on a plane, yeah, you sit by an Asian person. Do you immediately know where they're fucking from? No. Exactly. It's a, a very difficult. Really? Yeah. You can't tell. I can't. Go, I can't see a Japanese guy. Sometimes, sometimes Japanese I can get, but sometimes I'm wrong. I go, hey Japanese. They go, oh no, Cambodian. <laughs> And then you're like, oh, fuck, my bad. Well, maybe we should have you guys start to wear something to identify. No, why? It does, the reason why we shouldn't do that, because it doesn't matter it does. where we're from. Well, we want to know which ones are the good ones and no, the bad there ones. Is no good, every place has good ones and bad ones. I don't know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I think some are bad and some are good. No, we, Japanese, they, good. Korean, bad. No, it's pretty no, easy. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a lot of great... Like, I just saw something right now. A bunch of fucking South Koreans, what they do is they go to this... River by the DMZ, the, the line. By the, TM, by the TMZ? The DMZ. Uh-huh. The line. The demilitarized zone. Exactly. And what they do is they either put rice. Check this out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, I know what you said. Check this out. Like, check this out. Check this out. They put rice inside like a bottle of water. Yeah. They take the water out. And then little messages like money. Or they'll put like your little um, USB like uh, memory chips in there so that people can... Because they can see news and stuff like that. Yeah, right? news. Yeah. And they put it in the river so that it drifts and maybe lands on the other side. Or they'll take balloons and they'll put different things, you know what I mean? Like wow. messages and stuff. And they'll float it over the thing huh. and so that uh, the North Koreans can get some stuff. That's right? incredible. Right. But then the South Koreans just illegalized it. Uh, why? Because they were like, because this is what happened was they were. They're afraid of a war. No, South Koreans were like drawing pictures of like Kim Jong un. Like as a like a fat crazy monster. That's what I'm saying. They're afraid of a war, right? And so that, and then I guess they're getting annoyed by it because now all these North Koreans are getting like, you know, what I mean, these pictures of Kim Jong Un like <laughs> eating fucking, you know, what I mean, babies. white people and babies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean, so yeah. they're like it's completely illegal, but they've been doing it for years. Well, no, so, so those course. are good people. Of course, I know that there's many. Good, I'm, I'm <laughs> making a joke. That is incredible that they would do that. It, it, yeah. It, and, uh, would you give a fuck? Uh, okay, let me tell you something. We live in Los Angeles, yeah. right? Let's just say right outside of LA, people people had to be enslaved, basically. You would feel terrible for them, knowing that they're right next to you and they have to be enslaved without without any chance of really getting out or having a, a future. But okay, let's suppose- If they were right next to you, you'd feel it more. 
I, I don't know because um, let's suppose it's Mexico. Okay, let's just say. Me- let's say Mexico was a authoritarian, you know, country. Dictatorship. And a dictator, yeah. And they were enslaved and a lot of bad shit was going on. And they, they had no um, means for um, to get any kind of news, you know, and um, they're getting fed this propaganda from their own country. Sure. Right? And um, I don't know if we would go down to, you know, the border and put up balloons and giving them. I think citizens them- would. You think so? I think people have good hearts. I think people really care. I would, I would do it too. <laughs> <laughs> What's the think. nicest thing you've done this year? How about that? Have you done something nice? We, yeah, but it's not stuff that you would think was nice. Well, tell me what you think is nice. Well, there's this comic that I don't really like that much. And I had heard that in the pandemic, he was struggling. Yeah. So I venmo him just out of the blue $500. It's very nice. Why would I not think that's very nice? Because I think when I think about it, maybe it was a power play on my part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to use it against him. Well, maybe it's something to use it against him or to show him, hey, I know, you know, me, we're frenemies, right? But you're not really enemies. Yeah, but we're not like, like if he called me and goes. I think you're inflating it. You think so? I think you're making it out to be a thing that it's not. The fact that you even did that to him shows how good of a heart you have, that you really do care. I did that to like maybe four or five comics. That's what I'm saying. You really care. No, it's, you know, I don't like comics or friends of mine struggling, struggling, especially talented people. It's it, you know, it, it sucks. See, that's what I'm saying. So you do care. I guess that's a really nice thing. Yeah. DoorDash. Oh, Andrew, I would have been dead without DoorDash. Me too. Especially during this pandemic, it's helped me out so much. I get all my foods from DoorDash. I get a lot of deliveries through DoorDash. It's very convenient. You want Chinese? You want pizza? They got it, baby. What do you like ordering through DoorDash, Bob? I like Panda Express. I like the good stuff. You do like the good <laughs> stuff. Look, we've counted on restaurants, and now they're counting on you. Um, dining rooms are closed, but they're still open with, for delivery with DoorDash. Please support your local restaurants, man. It's struggling right now to keep everyone alive. It's an easy app. If you don't know what DoorDash is, it brings you your food you're craving right to your door. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, and the Cheesecake Factory. Mm, a lot of favorite local restaurants are still open for delivery, so check them out on the DoorDash app. And it's all contactless, contactless, baby. Keep communities we operate in very safe. Uh, right now, our listeners can get $5 off and zero delivery fees in the first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code Bad Friends. That's $5 off and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store. Enter the code Bad Friends. Don't forget, that's code Bad, Bad Friends. Friends for $5 off your first order with DoorDash. Policy Genius. Hey, the holiday season sure knows how to lighten your wallet. Many families, December is one of the most expensive months of the year, not to mention it's the busiest. If you're looking a fast and easy way to put some money back in your pocket, why not reshop your home and auto insurance rates with Policy Genius? Policy Genius combines a cutting edge insurance marketplace with help from licensed experts to save their home and auto consumers and auto customers an average of a thousand dollars per year. Better yet, it's really simple to it's use. It's very easy to use. Go to policygenius.com, answer some questions about yourself and your property, and Policy Genius does the rest. They'll compare rates from over 30 top insurance from progressive to nationwide to lowest policies, rates. I use policy insurance for my house insurance. Do you do it for your home insurance? Yeah, my home insurance. It does home and auto. Did you get a good deal? Because a lot of a people really say thousand dollars. Really good deal. I got the best deal that you can imagine. Well, because it's Bobby Lee. And uh, people now, our fans can take advantage of this. They've got a five-star rating, over 1,600 reviews on Trustpilot and Google. If you're feeling the pinch during the holiday season, find out how much more you could save on home and auto insurance. You don't just have to be a homeowner. At, at policygenius.com. Policygenius.com. They've saved their home and auto insurance customers an average of 1000 a year by reshopping. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. I adopted three oh. teenagers for the holidays. I adopted three teenagers. Usually it's a family, but we did teenagers this year. It's just gross that you would say it out loud. Sometimes when you do a good deed, you should just keep it to yourself. <laughs> no. Because when, when you announce it. It felt really no, good. I know. But when you announce it. You announced almost, giving someone $500. You asked me. Okay. You you never ask me questions. <laughs> My so point I got to fill it in myself. Go, well, I... <laughs> no, just, but you just hear yourself talking. And I gave each of them ten grand. <laughs> See, that's it's so gross. I'm kidding. It was twenty five. No, did you really adopt three grand. teenagers, or is it a joke? No, we we do. Every year we usually do families. Are they? What are they? Like what color are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you. So you don't know their names. Mario Lopez. No, no, you don't know their names or what they look like. 
Uh, no, because they don't want to create. They don't want to create this weird. They tell you their name and they tell you the things they need, and then they tell you. Um, yeah, but how do you know it's going to them? That's my problem. Because it's a community program that we've worked with in the past. Yeah, but still, in the past, they probably never told you who they were. What if? What if, you mean saying? What if these people steal from? Yeah, maybe. I, I always think that how how it, how do I know that all my money is going to go to them? Is going to go to these? Well, this it's family. gifts. It's gifts. It's gifts. It's not physical cash. It's gifts. Can't they take the gifts and then sell that shit on Etsy? Sure, but if they did that, then they're the ones that are going to burn, not me. You know, like I did the right thing. Like I did the right thing. What do you want me to do? Right. You can only do so much. When you, it's like saying when somebody gives a dollar to a homeless person, they're like, yeah, he's probably going to spend it on drugs. Like, what do you care? It's over. Yeah, you did the right thing. Yeah, yeah. The rest is out of your control. Right. Oh, you don't piss me off today. I read the news that said Bezos, his wife, Mackenzie Bezos. Yeah. She gave away four point four billion dollars. Uh huh. And then people were tweeting like, yeah, but she made $26 billion during the pandemic. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, but what do you want her to, what's, when is enough enough? Like what, you're mad that she gave some money? Yeah. What if she gave zero? Some you wouldn't people, have said anything. Some people don't say give any. That's, what I'm, that's my right. point. Like what do you want her to do? Okay, if you had. $4.4 billion. If you had $20 billion, what would you do? I'd probably, I'd invest as much as I could to know that my kids, kids, kids would be set up forever. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I would yeah. tell my business manager, I go, how much do I need to put away until everyone in my family, all my uncles and aunts and cousins and bro- and everybody, everyone in my family, extended yeah. family, yeah. are, are they good? Yes? Okay. With the rest of it, I'm going to have fun and I'm going to give some of it away. How much? $20 billion, I'd give away a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe I'd probably give away one, uh, one billion. I'd probably what give about, away a billion. What about if you spend the money for yourself but you let unfortunate people come party with me. Yeah, come and you come along. Like I rent a G five jet and I put a bunch of homeless guys on it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's right? right. Yeah, I got a a Playboy boat. Yeah, with a bunch of naked ladies. Woo! Right, homeless. Come on on. We'll give them a shower, scrub hey, them down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And get like get, get a nut off. Here's some cocaine. <laughs> Here's some cocaine. Or whatever. You know what I mean. And then when we're done, when we get back to yeah, LA, go back to your fucking get to the hut. Yeah. You get right to the tent. The dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. How much would you would you give away a bunch of money if you got a bunch? If you got that, if you okay, look, if you got like Rogan's deal, if you got a hundred million dollars mm. tomorrow, would you give any of it away to charity? Yeah, that silence says everything. No, I'm thinking. I know, but to think about it is pretty heavy. No, because I don't want to give you a lie. I want to give you an honest answer. Respect. Respect it. I respect that. So give me a second. I'll go to Rudy right now. Rudy, would you give away any money if you got a hundred million dollars? Yeah. How much? Fifty? Fifty million dollars. You'd give half of what you made? <laughs> wow. That's really generous. Fifty million dollars you'd give away? I'd give five million. Of a hundred million? Yeah. Okay. No, no judgment. Don't judge me. No judgment. I have shit to do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably twenty million. That seems fair. Yeah. Twenty million's good. Twenty percent. Yeah. It seems fair. It seems good. Okay. But where would you give it to? No, I would probably do, um, I don't like, you know what breaks my heart is when I see like um, young children get cancer. It's disgusting. I hate it. It's disgusting. So probably something, you know, when it comes to that. Like Children's Hospital or like Hope and all that stuff. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. And then I would probably, um, I would probably go to a, an island or a place where these brown people come from. Yeah. And I would go, I really would. Cause, and I would probably set up, um. You know, two things. You know, um, hospital. No, not a hospital. Right. Um, because they have a lot of stray dogs. Yeah, we talked about this. So I would do like a, you know, a dog shelter, a, a ranch oh. for stray j- dogs to just live on. Right on. And then we could feed them, and Jules can take care of it. I'll pay her to do it. <laughs> would you do that? Yeah. If I paid you good money, go. This is your ranch. Take care of these dogs. Yeah, and then I would probably do um, something for like. Uh, you know what? You know I feel bad. Dwarves, little people. Yeah, but I want them to get the little leg extensions. <laughs> <laughs> we have friend like Brad Williams is a friend. He Would doesn't you- want it. I've asked him. He doesn't want you, legs? No, I go, you want to do the leg extension? He goes, ah, fine, buddy. You know what I mean? So, How do you, what do you mean leg extension? Well, in China, what they do is they operate, they, 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 they take the bone. <laughs> Shut up. I swear to God, they do. They build them legs? No. They, so, see, see the bone, the leg bone? Yeah. I don't know which one. They 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 cut cut it yeah and they leave a space 
and the bone grows. Whoa. Right? And it takes like a year. So they can't walk for a year. So a wheelchair. Yeah, but you can um you can gain like five inches. Really? Yeah. Why don't they just take the legs out and put fake legs in? People want their legs, man. People do want their legs. They like to wiggle their toes. Yeah, I guess. I guess <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I've never heard of leg extensions. Yeah, so but then do. their arms are still short. What do you do with the they arms? They look weird. Okay, so you yeah, can't. Yeah. So it's just really they tall. They look worse almost. They're like T-Rexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they, they, but they, have, they know what they're going to be for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's true. No, but they do do... Look it up. Leg extensions? Yeah, Chinese leg extensions. Okay, I'll look it up right now. Surgery. Little per, Little person leg extension. Little person leg lengthening. Yes. L- limb lengthening is meant to help little people born with dwarfism. The most common form is uh, a chondroplasia, a genetic condition afflicting t- one in 10,000 newborns. People with a, uh, a chondroplasia have average size heads, torsos, but abnormally short. The operation just isn't about the physical, though. That's crazy. So this is a real thing. Dwarves divided over limb lengthening. God, is that a great headline? Yeah. Say that 10 times. Dwarves divided, divided over, over limb lengthening. lengthening. Dwarves, Dwarves divided, divided, divided over limb lengthening. <laughs> Dwarves divided over limb lengthening. <laughs> that's going to be the name of my next album. Dwarves divided over limb lengthening. Yeah. Uh, that's one. That's wait. Should we call? Let's call Brad and see if he would do it. Should we call him? <laughs> I think that's insulting. I know, but we're it's talking. Like somebody about calling it. me, going, "Hey, you want to get your eyes around? Do you though? No. Why? I'd do it for you. I don't want it. <laughs> if I paid for it, would you? Would you get your eyes done? I'm fine with. Yeah, my your eyes are pretty round. Yeah. yeah you don't no, she has that. nice eyes. Yeah, she has yeah. nice eyes. Mine aren't nice. They're okay. <laughs> they're okay. They're fine. For, they're good. They're like a. They look like a little cave I want to hide out in. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they, they, it looks it looks mysterious. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Let's call Brad, but you have to tell him because you're the one that came up with yeah, this. Yeah, but I can't. I I can't confront him about it. You what have do, to say it first. I'll say it, but right. he's gonna be. He's. You know, I'll do it. I'll do. I'll give a fuck. You should. I love Brad. Well, let me say hi first because he'll. You know. Can you hear me? Sure. Do this? Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, baby boy, you're on the podcast. You're on Bad Friends. I just want to give you a heads up. And Bobby wants to ask you something, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. What's so funny? <laughs> well, because well, I know I know, Bobby, if you have a question, it's not going to be like, hey, I need a new recipe for something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to call you and say um, happy holidays. I know your people love it. <laughs> Are you guys working a lot? Yes. You guys working a lot? <laughs> Bobby is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby, tell him what tell him what you taught me. Well, um Okay. Well so um if <laughs> if Ed, <laughs> Hi, you good? How's the kid? The kid is great, Bobby. How, how much do you need? I don't need money. I don't, I don't need money. No, because we were talking about like um you know how uh, you're a are you a dwarf? You, we've known him for things? years. I don't know. I don't know what. The, I don't know what the. He, term not, is. he doesn't understand terminology. I don't Brad, know terminology. Brad, you know he's not the smartest man. He just. He doesn't understand terminology, so he needs to be informed. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah. I was gonna say, Bobby, have you not seen five minutes of my act? I'm pretty sure I cover it. I like having fun. I like to party. I don't know about you, but when I party, I like to drink. <laughs> no, and one of the main reasons I like to drink is because I never have to pay for it, ever. <laughs> Because everyone wants to know what happens when a dwarf gets drunk. <laughs> right now you're thinking like, I wonder what happens. I would really like to know that. Like, and I know it's like me and hot chicks. Me and hot chicks have that thing in common where we walk into the club and everyone just looks at us and goes, we're getting that fucked up tonight. I, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but I, I, I have tall friends, okay? It's not like the midgets get together every Sunday under the tree stump and watch football. <laughs> Uh, I ran track in the Special Olympics. Now, if you have never seen a midget run, holy shit, you don't know what you're missing out on. You want to know what happens when a six foot two guy gives a four foot guy a chest bump? Four foot guy gets a dick in the face. That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he yeah. goes over it. Yeah. yeah. But because when yeah, I see I, you, I don't see you as anything. You know, I, I see you as just a, a comic, my friend. Right. I don't treat you different. I, we love each other. We're sure. brothers. We're brothers. I. I I, I treat you differently, Brad, and you know that. I, <laughs> I look I look to, I look down on you, and you know it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no. But, uh, How do you feel about? Uh, let's get to the point. How do you feel about you okay. know certain dwarves getting this leg leg lengthening <laughs> operation? You know where they separate the bone and the bone grows in. Oh God, no. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. See, it it, it, it it's a surgery that takes like over. A, a year and a half to get done. You separate your bone by 
millimeters a day, and then overnight it grows back in. Uh, and the thing is, is e- even when you do it and it's all done, you still look like a dwarf, but just that went into like a tappy stretching machine. That's what we said. <laughs> yeah, that's what we that's said. That's what we yeah, said. Yeah, it's just you're just a taller it, dwarf. Yeah. No. Well, got, have you guys heard that now? There's actually an injection that you can give to dwarf children. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? It, it's in phase three of trials right now. Uh, it's a shot, and you give it to them, and then the uh, bad parts of dwarfism kind of go away. What? Wow. Like what do you what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Like they can like they can well, like the funny head. <laughs> <laughs> The wobbly yeah. funny head I like. Bra- Brad, Brad, what does that mean? What does that even mean? You well, you give I it mean, to the kid and I, it gets rid of what? Like like a uh, 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 or internal stuff, like organ stuff. They tend uh, they tend to grow more, and uh, some of the health the health complications that are associated with dwarfism are lessened. Wow! Wow! Holy shit! Yeah. Would you as a would you have taken that as a kid? No, no, I don't want to have to write a new hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best. yeah because you, you know for me you know when i you know i used to think to myself even just being korean and weird looking i always thought i was korean and weird looking and, and i would go to an all-white high school and i used to think I, I wish i was you know there was times where i would pray i wish i was just a white guy regular looking white guy you know right, what i mean but right. you know as you as you grow in, in your own skin and you and you um develop a personality and you, you you have these you know you have your own thoughts and ideas about things and then you know your self-esteem builds you look in the mirror one day and you go you know i'm just perfect the way i am you know i, not, I would not change not perfect but yeah no i i think that i'm perfect well yeah okay well, you i'm not no no because no, you're I, a racist i'm a bigot not a racist and brad williams is perfect the way he, he is. is i know look I, i'm gonna agree with you you said a great thing it's true when i was a kid I, red hair i, I like it was so repulsive to me. It was like the most annoying thing. Ever. And I shaved my head. Was, I just wanted to not have it anymore. Yeah. And now that I'm older, yeah. I look in the mirror and I still, I still wish I had normal hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. No, you're right. You grow. Like, uh, you grow into it. Andrew, I'd much rather be a dwarf than a redhead. Let's <laughs> yeah, leave me are too. there any redheaded dwarfs? Oh, oh God, yeah, I hope not. Are, yeah. You guys, this, there's right. no way they live past. Uh, uh, they got to get taken care of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A redheaded dwarf. <laughs> yeah. We have to look one up, yeah. and it, we have to get one on this show. Now, Brad, you know when you take the injection, does that get? A, does that take away your mythological powers? Yeah, unfortunately. By the way, we have one. Look at this. Oh my God, we have one. I, I found, know her. I found a redheaded comedian dwarf. I used to open for her. You know that, right? Tana Lee oh, Davis. Tam- yeah, dude. Tana Lee Davis. Yeah, she's a store girl. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. So all this time yeah. you guys have known a redheaded dwarf and didn't. Yeah. This is crazy. But you know what the worst. You didn't want to hook me up. No. Huh? But no. Be- With no. The- listen, she's very funny, Andrew. Brad. But I used to have to um, open for. She used to. Well, she. I don't know if she is, but she was married to like a six foot eight like giant guy. Of course. Right. And he used to like yeah. carrying her around like a pocket pussy. You know. <laughs> 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 right, so one time, like, he wasn't around, and she's like, Mom, you know what I mean? Let, let's open for me uh, at this casino. Right. So then I had to, like, like we our, our hotel room was on, like, the third floor, and there was, like, no elevator. So uh. I had to carry her up. Uh. Fuck, she was heavy, bro. Really? Oh, my <laughs> God. Dwarves are heavy. Well, well they're, yeah, well. We're- we're, we're a very dense people. Yeah, yeah dense. Yeah. Brad is bottom heavy because this kid's a tripod. Do you know about this kid? No kid. I'm not going to get into it, but Brad, do you know about Brad? His dick? D- seriously, do you know? Pretty big. No. Little? No, not no. pretty big is not. Large. Besides this microphone, th- like length and girth. Your dick is that big, Brad? Yes. I can't see the microphone. I don't know what you You know what the side these, you know how big these shores are. Look at this. This is <laughs> yeah. it. It's this. No, is your dick big though, Brad? Yep. No, it, it it just looks big on me. No, it's big. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me, do you let think me... your dick is bigger than mine? Oh, definitely bigger than yours. Yeah. <laughs> let me it's tell, not. Let me Fuck ta- you. Let me tell you how yeah. I knew. How I knew. Brad and I went golfing one time, and he went to go take a pee. Because when you're golfing, you there's no bathroom, so you have mm. just piss outside. And he pissed yeah. outside, and we had had a couple of drinks, and he came back, and he was a little little sloppy. And I said, oh, Brad, you got piss. You, he shook. You know when you shake, and he shook, and he got pissed on his pants? And I'm not exaggerating. The piss shake was about this far out from where it should have been. Yeah. This far out. It was like a foot away from where normal piss would yeah. be. And I was like, Jesus, how do you pee down there? When you golfed with Brad, is, was the golf course, did they have a windmill? <laughs> Brad? 
Go ahead and answer. <laughs> no, we play big boy golf. Oh, big boy golf. How fun. Boy you know golf. what? You know that, what? Joke, that joke is okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that joke okay? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it didn't do well, but. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I would like to set up right now because there's nothing but love here. Yeah. And Brad knows. we. I love you so much, Brad. You know that. And uh, obviously for the audience, it's all jokes. This is our friend. I do want to set up a match between you and Brad to have a physical altercation of some kind because I cannot wait to watch him beat you. No, no. no. First of all. <laughs> In, I would Brad, bet my no, bank account. I, first bank of all, account. I was, dude. You know, I was on the wrestling team, right? I would love to watch you fight, Brad. L- boxing? Yeah, you got to fight him. Oh, I would kick his ass. Okay, Brad, let's set it up. <laughs> I would kick. I wouldn't want to, Brad. But I would kick the living shit out of you, man. You're done, dude. No, 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 see, no, Andrew. Here's the deal. <laughs> because Bobby just said that he was on the wrestling team, right? Yeah. I was also on the wrestling team in college. Let's go. Let's so we, set the, it up. So we, so we got to do this. So we got to do this Nate uh, Nate Robinson, Jake Paul style. We will break all <laughs> okay. pay-per-view records, and it'll be Bobby Lee against Brad Williams in the ball pit of a Chuck E. Cheese. Let, let's do it. <laughs> Here's all what's going to happen, though. We're gonna, but Brad's going to show up in a trench coat, and he's going to be on my shoulders, and we're going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brad, we love you Brad, very much. We love much. you, Brad. Thanks uh, for picking uh, up. Uh, Merry, Merry holidays, baby boy. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. All right, brother. Bye. Love you guys. Thanks. What are you doing? What do you, What are you doing? Oh, we've got he. They, yeah, Andres. Andres got off last time on doing trivia. Yeah. Where's the fuck? Where's your costume? Oh, it was getting hot okay. out there. Oh, it was. So we we've got some trivia. Andres wants us to do trivia. Yeah. And he's got some trivia lined up like he did last time. But I I answer questions and then I put. We're the gonna buzzer. hit the buzzer because last time the problem was yeah. there was no judgment over who buzzed who could buzz in first. Okay. So now this is everyone's but, got a buzzer. But what's if I, if I get an answer wrong, what happens? You get hit. Okay. <laughs> We've got some trivia. So Andres, once you set up the rules, set up the Christmas trivia. I'm excited about it. Okay. Let's so- do it. The person who gets five questions right wins. Five. The person who hits the buzzer first will answer the question. You guys cannot go over, like in the price is right this time. So if you go over the the number. It's what it should have been. You mm. go over, it doesn't count, just like the price is right. And if you guys fight the judge, you lose a point. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, so these are just numbers. What? Are these questions just all involving numbers? No, he's just saying he's setting no. it up, setting up the rules in case there is a numbered question. Right. Go ahead, because you yelled about it last time. Right, right. Okay, is it there's an A, B, C? Are they multiple choice? No, just no, listen up. No multiple choices here. All right, who's gonna pay attention to the buzzers? I will. Okay. And uh, in case there is like an arbitration, uh, I'll have a set of eyes here with George uh, calling it. Oh, by the way, and if you buzz in prematurely before the question is done, you can't answer. Yeah, correct. You have to wait till the question is done being read. All right, so first question. In the song Frosty the Snowman, what made Frosty come to life? All right, Andrew. Um, the, uh, the hat and the scarf. When she put, on, she put on the hat and the nose and the eyes and the scarf, and that made him come to life. An old silk hat, correct. Yeah, baby. Boom. <laughs> All right. One for one. White people have questions. This is crazy. <laughs> you don't know Frosty the it's Snowman? It's all Christmas? It's all Christmas? <laughs> yes. This is the Christmas, Christmas episode! Trivia. <laughs> what the fuck do you think this is? Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. I'm going to lose. Uh, okay. Who spies on kids and reports back to Santa? Who spies on kids? Yeah. Who spies on kids? It's, yeah. Uh, the elves? The elf on the shelf. We'll give it to you. One, one, zero. Yeah, she does get it. Yep. She said elf. It's part of the, you know what I mean? What Christmas decoration was originally made from strands of silver? I yeah. got it. Gar- Garland? The star on the top. No. Oh, strands of silver? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing out anything I know. Rudy? Um, the balls? <laughs> the balls? No. Do you mean the ornaments? Tinsel. 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 It sounds like a tinsel. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, we're dumb. Who played George Bailey in the Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life? Fuck, what's his name? Bobby? No, that was me. That was you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even... What's his name? <laughs> it, it, it's uh, the, the guy that yeah. sounds like that. Yeah. G- uh, G- uh, Jimmy, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, his name is, uh, uh, 
<laughs> time, <laughs> time. Anyone else? What's his last name? Jim. Jimmy. Oh, come on, guys. Jeez. Well, I know. We all know who it is. Oh, I just, I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. Damn it, Jimmy Fuck, Stewart. Jimmy but Stewart, I, I knew that but one. But I had everything. Doesn't the voice count no, for like a count, half a point? Count. No, it doesn't count. Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart. Damn it. What Christmas beverage is also known as milk punch? Damn it. Bobby? Eggnog. Yep. Fuck. Okay. One, one, one. One, one, one. one of Santa's reindeer shares a name with a famous symbol of Valentine's Day. Which reindeer is that? Yes. Cupid. Uh, yep. Correct. Two points. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the you're a poor loser and it's ugly. Dude, you're the poorest you're, winner. You're, you're the, the poorest you're winner. The poorest when you winner win, you rub it in people's face. It's you're disgusting. The worst. It's disgusting. See, when you get gifts, get gifts, you throw it Three at people's dollars. face. Three dollars? That's fucking it doesn't matter, it's with the heart. No, it's yes, not. It's the heart, dude. You thought not about it at Shut all. Shut up. Go ahead, George. Or okay. Andres. What Southeast Asian country? Both the longest holiday season, starting with decorations and carols as early as September, and celebrations that last sometimes until January. I was first. Rudy? I was first. I think Rudy was. Rudy no. was first. He's looking. Yeah. <laughs> Rudy. Philippines. Correct. I swear to God, I was it's first. It's only appropriate, though. I, I swear to God, I was She's first. She's Filipino. At back at, look at the back of the thing. Okay, we'll, we'll do re replay. We'll do a replay. Okay. Two, two, one. <laughs> what Christmas themed ballet premiered in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1892? We're out. No, I got it. We both did it before the question's over. No, we I both. Did it. No, we. No. I'm oh, doing yeah. it. He didn't finish the question. Who cares? I already know the okay. answer. We both did. You can't answer when he's not done. You can't do it. She's the only well, one that can try. I don't know. Well, then it's no, out. I get to no. do it. I get, he doesn't know. I get to do it, right? No. Yes. 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 Nutcracker. That's in, we said the question doesn't count if we no, if he, we buzz in. If she I, misses it, yeah, this then is I it. can fucking buzz because she missed it and I just got it. The Nutcracker. Two, 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 two. two, two. Go fuck yourself. Correct. See, you're the shittiest. You're the shittiest <laughs> of all died. time. I'm not even winning. Yeah, I know, but you're a brat. You're a little fucking fat. See brat. how angry you get for no fucking reason, dude. You no, because you said fuck you, you to me. Therapy. Did you say fuck, fuck you? you? Fuck okay. you. Go ahead, Andres. Because of this bad behavior, you both t uh, get one point uh, taken away from you. So it's two for Rudy, one, one. I hope you like what you did. <laughs> you did that. No, you did. <laughs> you you could have let go of the first fuck. You said F you to me. You so could have gonna... let, let that go. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> Idiot. Guys, that's a warning. Okay. So <laughs> We're going to lose this fucking I one. know. What's the best Christmas candy? Bobby? No, no he, it was me. Yes, sir. Candy canes. No. What's the best Christmas? According to who? <laughs> yeah. Bobby? Candy corn. That's Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Halloween. I know, Halloween. Rudy? I don't know. Um. God, if she gets it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed off. She doesn't even know. Um, Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. Yeah, it's Snickers. It's a Snickers. Correct. <laughs> One point for Rudy. That's not, that's not it. <laughs> so annoying. That's not it. No, it, I'm sure it is. Is it really? <laughs> it is Snickers. They have it written down. <laughs> okay. Uh, in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, oh. what would Mr. Scrooge's first name? Okay, Andrew? Ebenezer. Correct. Th oh. Three. Wait, is it? Three, two, one. Correct. Ugh. What traditional Christmas decoration is actually a para parasitic plant? I got it. <laughs> you didn't make any noise. Yeah, it did. My, yours didn't make any noise. Yes, uh, Bobby got it first, but he didn't make any noise. But I saw it. So I'm, I'm the first. Go ahead. Yeah. This will tell. Correct. T three, two, two. Which fairy tale inspire the first gingerbread houses? Andrew? Hansel and Gretel. Correct. Fuck yes. Three, three, two. I'm going to lose. I don't know much about Christmas. Okay. What animated 2004 film is about a train that carries kids to the North Pole on Christmas Eve? Andrew? Uh, the Polar Express. Correct. <laughs> what is it now? Three, four, two. Um, Did you know that answer? Yeah, but Step I forgot the name. Step it up. <laughs> What's the most fun Christmas tradition? Yes. Opening presents. Incorrect. Rudy? Uh, 
caroling. Correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> son of a bitch. Just as long as she wins, I'm happy. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all. That's all I care. Uh, four, what, four, two. Where was Baby Jesus born? I got it. Rudy, I got it. Um, um, Jerusalem. No. No. Bethlehem. Correct. He, was, he wasn't next. Yes, I, I was. I did my thing. Yes, I was next. He was next. I was next. Bethlehem. Oh, jeez. Jerusalem? I don't know. <laughs> Jerusalem. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close enough. Jerusalem. Does he have more? I do. Let's do another one. I won, <laughs> but let's do another one. No, okay. no, we're not. You didn't win. It's not over. Yeah, okay. I won five. Let's I got do five. best of ten. Who was the star of the Christmas movie Jingle All the Way? Andrew? Uh Tim Allen. Incorrect. I don't remember. I, I, I don't what remember. What the fuck is a jingle all the way? It's a movie, I know. Tim Allen was the Santa Claus. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I remember that. What's wrong with me? Which food do you leave for Santa? Go ahead, Rudy. Rudy? Cookies and milk. Correct. He loves when she gets it right. <laughs> Correct. He does his little Spanish. Correcto. Correcto. He doesn't do it for us. As the clock chimes midnight in the New Year's, a Spanish tradition <laughs> involves eating 12 of what? One for each time. No, can't. Rudy? Go ahead. <laughs> Grapes. Correcto. Yeah. Don't stop. Stop. Fuck this game. Hey. I'm out. Why? I don't know anything. In the movie Elf. It's not, it's not in my. It's not. In it, the movie it, Elf. You know this movie I with never Will saw Ferrell. It. Peter didn't. Dinklage. He's in it. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Peter what? Dinklage. You know, he got leg lengthening. Really? Yeah. Any, <laughs> which country started a tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Yes. I'm going to say Canada. Nope. Damn. Bobby? Germany. Correct. Germany. Look at that. It's not Germany. Yeah, it, it is. is. Germany. There's it no is. way it's Germany. It is Germany. Is it really Germany? It is. They do have a lot of, um, they do have a lot of like, uh, German terms in Christmas. Santa Claus. Santa <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you, could, you could use any word and put a German accent to it. It'll sound like it. Mistletoe. <laughs> No, but they did. But like Santa Claus, that was like a big. I think it was a German thing. I mean, it is a German thing. thing. It, it is, is right. It isn't yes. it? Yes. What is the most popular meal for Christmas in Japan? Yes. Um, uh, noodles. No. Bobby. Chicken pot pie. No. Sushi. No, KFC fried chicken. I knew that. They love KFC over there. Have you never, you know, know about this? There's more KFC franchises there than anywhere else in the world. Japanese love KFC. Yeah, we turned them into fried chicken in Hiroshima. All right, next question. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Since you guys know a lot about uh, presidents, which president established Christmas as a national holiday? <sighs> yes. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Eisen Ooh. Eisenhower. No. Is it still Lincoln? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Oh. How many points does a snowflake traditionally have? Andrew? Seven. No. Eight. Eight. No. Six. 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 <laughs> Rudy, Rudy's catching up. Shut up. <laughs> no, but don't shut up, but keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> what Bing Crosby song is the best-selling single ever? Bobby? White Christmas. Correct. That's good. What Christmas movie sequel includes a cameo by Donald Trump? I know. What is it? It's Home Alone. Yes. It's all lost in New York. Donald Trump is in Lost in New York. Home it's Alone. Correct. Yeah. And he kisses Macaulay Culkin on the mouth when he says goodbye. He goes, I gotta go. Merry Christmas. Really? Yeah, he kisses him. What words follow Silent Night in the Sun? Yes. Holy Night. 
Correct. I'm running. I'm running away with this. Miracle on 34th Street. What a movie! Is based on what real life store uh, department store? Yes. Macy's. Correct. Okay. It looks like so only one person here enjoys Christmas. I love it. Okay. I try, Rudy. <laughs> he so tried hard. so hard to sabotage us. He took away points from us and everything. The Spaniard. You can never trust a Spaniard, dude. Honestly. It's just you're just embedded in like white Midwest ritualistic things like fucking Christmas. I was never exposed to that. We didn't have a Christmas tree. Everything that I learned is through just like glimpses of media, you know? Same thing. What no, do you mean? You're, you guys had the Christmas tree and you guys. You never had a Christmas tree your whole no. childhood? You guys had. Did you have a Christmas tree when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah but I did. Okay, all right. So she's. she's... So what I'm saying, I mean, no, my point though is, is that it's just completely unfair because it's a tradition that I didn't grow well, up. Well, let's with. do a tradition that you grew up with that I didn't. Then I, there is no tradition. Alcoholism. I, I did grow up with that. Oddly <laughs> I know enough. you did. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, how old were you when you guys finally got a tree? I think we got one, but it was never decorated, and it stayed in our living room for like a year and a half because no <laughs> one would ever. So, th and then my mom used to put like. It was like a real tree. Yeah. And then my mom used to hang clothes on the like the barren branches. <laughs> to dry? Yeah. So we, it became like... A drying rack? A drying rack. <laughs> and for like a no. year and a half, it was just sitting there, you know what I mean, in the living room with like socks and shit drying on it. How long did you have the Christmas tree up for? For a couple of years. And then we're like, after that, we find my dad finally, oh, fuck it. I'm going to turn it down. Take it down. He, he chopped it down. What? Yeah. And then we never had one after that. Why? Did you ever get gifts, though? Yeah, my dad would go, like, Christmas, we'd sit around. We wouldn't have any of the traditional. I don't even know what food you would eat. But we would sit Ham. around, and my dad would go, yeah, Merry Christmas. And he would give you an envelope full of cash. And I would go buy weed with it. How much money would you get in the envelope? Like 300 bucks. And he'd be like, that's it, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. No gifts open up no, in the morning. there was no, like... You never had one Merry Christmas? None of this magical shit that you guys grew up with. But when I watch it, when I like right now, we have two trees in our house, real or fake? They're real, and we went and bought it. You know what I mean? And we went, I pick, pick we fucking lugged it in the house. Yeah. And then her and Kalila and uh, Juliana spent all night with all the decorations. Isn't that nice? And I just sit there and watch, and I go, you know, I wanna, I don't want to be like, you know, um, I I want to get involved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The best I can because I just don't. But I don't know much about the culture or the rituals of it. So I just kind of like, I do the best I can, but at the end of the day, I'm dead inside when it comes to the, the holiday season. No, you're not. I am. I don't care. You, uh, I don't right. care. Okay. You know, so when we play games like this, um, mm -hmm. I, I play along and the answers that I have are just out of just, just stuff that maybe I gathered by listening to a song one day or at a mall. Right. But like nothing that I, you know, I mean, grew up, you know, learning. Does it make like you Christmas movies? I don't I've never seen any of them. Yeah, you have. I haven't. You've never seen Miracle on 34th Street? I don't even know what it is. But some movies fall into the category of Christmas movie even though they're not, right? Like what? Home Alone is a Christmas movie even though it's I saw Predator once. That's Bad a hard. good Christmas movie. Yeah, yeah, like the, the first one. What about like Christmas. uh uh what about like uh, Planes, Trains and Automobiles? Great movie. Great movie. <laughs> But that was more of a Thanksgiving movie. I think he was home for Christmas. Thanksgiving. Was it? Yeah. It was. You know why? Because of the fat lady yeah. that was at the... Go, gobble, gobble. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> okay, that was. Mm -hmm. All right, let me think of another Christmas movie. Die Hard. Die Hard was a Christmas movie. Die Hard 2. No, the Die Hard, the original, two. was a Christmas movie. Yeah, I did see that one. But you can't learn much from it. You learn how to like. You know what I mean, what do you the mean? Only thing like you can. The only thing I learned from Die Hard about Christmas is you can run on broken glass with bare feet. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can climb through vents in Nakatomi Tower. Yeah, I did never heard of the term Yippie Kaye before. Well, no one had. Yeah, didn't he make that up on that movie? No, I think that's a Yippie Kaye is a, an old Western term. Yeah, but motherfucker isn't. <laughs> yes, he combined the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah he made it Yippie Kaye mother. motherfucker. Yeah, that's his. But Yippie ki -yay is a, yeah, but you love Westerns. You said you love Westerns. That's like a yeah, such but a... That, I know, but I'm just saying, though, that... Uh, Christmas movies I, I, I don't mean to bring anyone down. When people are, say, Merry Christmas, or I've, I've bought gifts from people, I just, I'm, my honest feeling about it is is that I, I've never gotten the Christmas spirit, and I wish I could get it, but... Maybe you can try this year. I, 
I fucked it up by one of my best buddies. I couldn't. Even, you sure did. I couldn't even get you a fucking gift, man. You sure did. You know what I mean? Are you gonna make up for it at some point? Fuck you. Thank you. That's my. Yes. I don't know why I just did that. I know why. <laughs> why? Because it's a defense mechanism. It is. It's sad for showing how much I you actually learn. love I me. Learn. I love you. It's fine. I love you too. I really do. I love you. I know it's the end of the year. Mm-hmm. I want to say how much I love and appreciate you guys. This is the Christmas spirit is giving, and <laughs> I want to give you guys. Um, a little gift. Uh, if you, uh, Andres, reach under your seat there and see. I've left you a little gift under there. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. And George, look, look under your seat. Did you get it? It's incredible. You're welcome. What is it? It's just a little something from me to the crew. Oh, God. Wow. I got a gift, too. What about from Bobby? Did you get the guys anything? Yeah, but mine... Is in the mail. You know, you, you, UPS is backed up right now. Because they of the are. Traffic. They are. So mine's arriving a little late. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you to all you guys. I also want to say thank you to the fans because we mean it. We love you guys. It's uh, we're we're not a year yet, but it's this has been a fun journey. I hope everyone has a great holiday. You know, um, I mean that. Uh, I have to be honest with you. Okay. May I? It's Please. A, it's a Christmas. One hundred percent Christmas spirit. Spirit. Um, People are going to be watching this around the fireplace with their families. Merry Christmas to you and and loved ones, and may you have a jolly time. We should also say Happy Kwanzaa but, and and. Um, but I want to say. Wait, J two plus is texting me. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, he just did that. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I want to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long we've been doing this podcast. 45 weeks. Yeah, but um, I remember, you know, um, I was thinking about doing one with other people at one point. Yeah. And I just couldn't get myself to do it. I don't, the motivation wasn't there. Yeah. And when Andrew came along, um, although my gut said no. <laughs> no, I'm being, this is going to come out good. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, my gut said no, and uh, my head said maybe. Um my heart said yes. Oh, Bob. And I said, you know what? I just, for some, instinctually, I think this is maybe the way to go. And once we started doing it, um, I was grateful for it because um, I, 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 I don't know if that's love. I don't know if it's hate, but there's something there between us mm -hmm. that's bubbling yeah. underneath the surface. And um, we could kill each other. <laughs> But um, or we can make love. You know that's the magic of it. It is. You know. Um, but I'm really, um, really happy that I did it with you. I'm happy that I did it with you. Okay. So L look at me. Hol mm. Happy holidays. To happy you. holidays. And your family. And everybody else. Th ha thank, thank you, thank you for, for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend.